Hey everybody, welcome back. And today we are doing another test video with the Honda Ridgeline. Finally back to those. And today we are gonna be going with a fuel economy test. With these skyrocketing fuel prices, I guess it's the best time to go find out if the premium fuel and the eco button work because there's a lot of people out there who actually do fill up their vehicles with premium fuel all the time regardless. So we've already done a lot of tests with the regular fuel on the Honda Ridgeline. So we're gonna find out exactly what you can expect with the premium fuel and the eco button. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fill up uh, with the premium fuel and get this test started. All right, so we have 55 miles left on the tank and it was at an eighth of a bar left. So let's go ahead and fill up. Actually, we're gonna go at Kroger right now and fill up here. It's, man, 370 a gallon, 93 octane. So, oh, actually, I need to open it up. <clears throat> Luckily, at some points, so I was able to bring this price down a little bit. But still really expensive. Last time I did the fuel economy test when I was in Georgia, it was $1.60 per gallon uh, for just regular uh, 87 octane. So now we're here at 93 octane and in some places almost $4 here in Georgia. Unbelievable. So let's find out if 93 octane is gonna get you better fuel economy. And uh, we're gonna try and use this pump number five for all the fill ups. So we're gonna do two tests. We're gonna do two tests with the 93. Uh, drive uh, the full trip, come back, fill up, drive the full trip, come back, and then we'll do an eco test as well. Actually, I think last time I did uh, one pull, so we'll do that actually. We're gonna do one pull, and the moment it stops, that'll be it. There we go. Okay, that way, so 16.575 gallons. Yes, I remember last time I did uh, one extra pull, just in case. And I did that with every single test. So that's what we're gonna do for all these tests. Okay, so we are now starting the test and we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did last time as well. Air conditioning is on and we're gonna do the test uh, two times for the 93 octane. It's gonna be set on cruise control every single time. That way that uh, we can repeat this over and over. And we're just gonna, again, uh, using Kroger this time just because I'm afraid that if I go with Costco and I use their fuel, uh, that uh, the test might actually prolong too long that I won't be able to actually uh, continue the test. So uh, in order to be able to do everything in one day, we're going to uh, do it with Kroger and I think it'll be just fine for at least what we're trying to accomplish with this test. So here we go. And uh, yeah, looking forward to see if uh, the 93 octane has a better fuel economy over regular 87 octane. That's normally what I use on the Honda Ridgeline uh, because it's cheaper. Uh, this engine doesn't require anything specific uh, to a degree to have the premium fuel, but uh, we're gonna find out and see if actually there is some sort of benefit uh, to the premium fuel. And, uh, and you guys will know. So also the eco button. Will the eco button give us a significant increase in fuel economy? I think, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do another test with the Eco on uh, just regular 87 octane because if there is a significant increase with the Eco on the premium fuel, I think it's safe to say that we could probably take those numbers, that percentage of increase, and assume that uh, the 87 octane is going to probably see similar numbers. So we're just going to do the Eco number uh, based off of the 93 fuel octane. So, alrighty, here we go. Next three hours of driving. Hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty, 86.7 miles, averaging 28.6 miles per gallon. So let's go ahead and fill up, find out exactly what it is. My GoPro died on me. So I'll have to switch over to the phone, hopefully. Everything looks good. Alrighty, so again, we're gonna go 93 octane. We're gonna do, we're gonna let it fill up and then let it just once. One nine three seven for the first. Three 
0.076 on the second click. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and do this test again, and then we'll get the average fuel economy. All right, 86.7 miles, 28.5 miles per gallon on the second run. Let's go ahead. Get it filled up. All right, second time, first time around, 3.187. And with the second. Point three three four. Alrighty, now for the eco test. Alrighty, zeroed it out, and uh, here we go. Eco on. Eco test commencing. Alrighty, so the eco test: eighty six point seven miles, twenty eight point nine. And honestly, seeing that number, I don't know if I'm going to do another eco test because if it's not significantly improved there. I just don't have the confidence that it's going to be significantly improved on a second run because this is actually the best time that uh, the truck would have got a better fuel economy because all the old uh, eight, uh, 87 octane fuel would have at least been mixed up well and it would be mostly all uh, 93. So we are going to go ahead and just do the single test on the Eco. It's just a decision that I'm going to make uh, that I don't see that there is a reason to go further with the testing, um, at least on the eco test. If I saw maybe, at least on the trip computer, seeing like 30 miles per gallon or something like that, maybe I'd do another one. But being that it's sitting really close to the same, at least estimate, I don't think it's gonna do anymore, so. Alrighty, well, let's go ahead and fill up. Alrighty, I think we're gonna again. Three gallons again, then yeah, there's there's really no reason to continue with this test. So first stop, 3.348. Second stop, 3.426. Alrighty, so now let's go ahead and add all these numbers up and see what the actual fuel economy is for the 93 octane. And we'll compare that uh, with the results that we had on the last test for the 87 octane. So the test is based on the drop-in AEM dry filter values, and the weather was actually similar to my previous 87 octane test, which was around 57 degrees on the previous test. And this time around is around 54, so I believe that the results to be fair and relevant. Again, my Honda Ridgeline is a 2018 RTLE with a 6B transmission. So the results of the average MPG have been calculated and are as follows. The 87 octane fuel average based on last year's values were 26.04 miles per gallon and it's our control. The 93 octane fuel averaged 27.1 miles per gallon with the first run being 28.19 miles per gallon and the second run being 26 miles per gallon. This makes it 4.07% more efficient over the 87 octane fuel. The eco button in this test performed shockingly worse than both the 87 and 93, which operated under standard setting conditions. This was honestly very surprising. It was only able to produce 25.31 miles per gallon for this test. Interesting enough, the longer the vehicle was operating under 93 octane fuel, it gradually became receiving worse fuel economy over time. So it's possible that the vehicle is still adjusting to the premium fuel and could eventually be similar or worse than the 87 octane in terms of performance. But based on these initial numbers, the 93 octane does perform better over the 87 octane. However, when we look at the cost per miles per gallon, the 87 octane costs 12.28 cents per mile and the 93 costs 13.64 cents per mile, which equates to roughly $9.16 more if you fill up for 18 gallons. So in the end, for basic city driving, it's not worth it in my book. But if you have to drive off where there won't be any fuel, then the added 4% increase in range just might be the difference between being stranded or making it to a fuel station. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next project.